If you want to know how you can make your own double jump ability in Roblox Studio, you're going to have to make sure to watch this video after to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can make a double jump ability in Roblox Studio. It is pretty self explanatory uh, if you just tap spacebar two times you're going to be able to double jump and then when you get on the ground again because you can only double jump once you know you can jump and then jump but you cannot jump 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 no you cannot do that you have to land first and then you can do jump jump land jump jump you get the point. So that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. If you do like this video, make sure to give it a like if you like it. If you don't like it, please give it a dislike. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell next to the subscribe button. And make sure that you become a member if you want to. That's all I wanted to say. And without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. The setup is really easy. All you have to do is go to start your player over here. Go to start your character scripts. And then insert a local script. That is everything you have to do, and now let's get to coding. So that was all of the coding for this tutorial and it was a pretty simple script and now again for the recap I am going to show you what every line does. So start at the top we got the user input service we are waiting for the game to register user input service so we can use it. Then the character is pretty self explanatory we are just waiting for the character uh, and this character is script apparent in this case and the humanoid is going to be inside of the character so we are going to wait for the humanoid too. Then two variables, we got local has double jumped is equal to false because we need to determine whether you have double jumped already or not. And then the previous jump is a time thingy, it's tick. And tick is basically a time thingy, let's see what it says. Returns the amount of time in seconds uh, since the Unix according to device time. So basically we are checking over here in the function, we are checking if time minus previous jump is above 0 0.2, so there's a 0 0.2 second delay, uh, which is good. After that, we are checking if you are uh, falling again, and if that's true, and if you do not have double jump yet, you have then double jumped, and then we are going to change your state to jumping. And jumping means that, um, yeah, we're going to make your character jump again. Over here, we're, we are detecting a state changed, which means if you have landed, then uh, double, uh, double jumped is going to be false because you have landed again, so you can double jump again. And then when you're jumping, we are going to reset your previous jump time to the new one. And over here, we are connecting all of that in a single script. Now, all you have to do is click play and then enjoy whatever happens. So as you can see, we are going to join right now and boom. Okay, there we go. And then when I jump one time, as you can see, nothing, nothing really weird, you know, and we. Okay, well, cool. If I try to jump two times, so one, two, as you can see, I am now jumping higher. So look, boom, boom. And as you can see, if I keep spamming it, 
as you can see, it it only works after 0 0.2 seconds, um, yeah, as it is supposed to. And all, uh, any other player can see this. So, for example, if you got like 50 million people in your game and someone double jumps, everyone will be able to see that, which is honestly uh, really cool. And as you can see, it will not break. As you can see, boing, 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 boing. As you can see, you can literally just make a part. Let's do that. So, if I do this, as you can see, I cannot jump over this. I actually can, but you get the point. Now I can't, and then boom, boom, and now I'm on top. Do you get the point? Double jump, double jump. For example, you could just copy this part, and then put it over here, and then let's do it like this. And then make this one even more higher. So basically, I think like this. So double jump. As you can see, I cannot go over here, so double jump, and double jump. And that is how you make a double jump ability in Roblox within only 25 lines of code. It is absolutely simple. And uh, if you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, make sure to give it a like if you like it. Please give it a dislike if you dislike it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, become a member, do anything you want. And make sure that you just subscribe if you want to. And all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say peace out.